width of these, whatever you call these things here, and the smallest one, which was the most recent because I'm running out of storage space in my flat, it's about, that's about maybe five feet high. The, they're all about the same width. The uh, higher ones are about, um, I don't know, uh, six feet, something like that, maybe a bit higher. Yes. What do the wings, what do the wings present? No, I've been asked that question ever since the first exhibit, which was in 1992, completed the first 10 drawings. I always throw the questions back at the person who asked or the audience, what do the wings represent to you? You're on. <laughs> you must have some thought what the wings may represent. Don't be shy. <laughs> Someone else, what do the wings represent? She said, kind of like being taken away from the hard things that they went through. Someone else, I know there's going to be a variety of possible interpretations. Someone else, a guy. Come on, what do, they, what do you think the wings represent? That they can fly. That they can fly. How would they fly? Do it, like in heaven. Like, so, like, metaphorically, you mean? Okay, cool. <laughs> Someone else? Anyone? Anyway. Yes? <laughs> Represent freedom. Yeah, all these answers are a good interpretation. Sure, they can. Again, I did the art. You know, if I get run over by a lawyer tomorrow looking the wrong way, as Americans and Canadians do here in Britain. The, the work's going to end up being viewed and open for interpretation by the viewers. So, you know, that answer is good as the others. Sure. Anyone else? How about any other questions? History. In the 1890s, there was the drawing of Rubenstein in the mine. You talk about my favorite work of my own. In the 1990s, there was a, the drawing of Rubenstein. They mined in the worst together, and it was standing there like that with a gray. There was another one which you didn't see, which um, a French surrealist poet. You can bring it up at Flickr.com in the Under the Wings album with my name. It's called uh, Robert. It's called Sorrows of Love. Um, homage to Robert Desnoyers. He was a French surrealist poet and art, literary, music critic. And you can, you can look at that photograph on the, on the internet and bring up the album, Under the Wings album. Someone else had their hand up. Yes. Pardon. Say again? What led you to do mosaics? I didn't show the first mosaic drawing, but I had done this like large life-size drawing of a, um, a young man uh, standing in a doorway for a photo in the Warsaw Ghetto. And I just decided one day, um, it was around the, might have been around the 35th work, um, several years in series, and I decided to um, cut it out, the shape of his, uh, you know, like head, outside of his arms, legs, and all that, and I had a piece of masonite, and I just kind of evolved. I mounted it on this masonite, and I built a frame around it, and then I did a mosaic around it, very simple, just a few inches around. You can also bring that up in the Under the Wings. This is Under the Wings page at Flickr.com, and there's another one just for the mosaics, called Under the Wings Mosaics. It's called The Young Man with Star of David Armand in the Wars of Ghetto, which is, Sometimes, you know, I've done so many drawings, you want to do something new and different, present a more new challenge to yourself. That's how it evolved for me. Well, I guess I could show you as an example. So, in both the upper and lower drawings here, I probably, I would start with a pencil drawn from a photograph. Um, and sometimes I might do an underlay of, like this, uh, like blue wash, might be hard to make it out, in, the, in um, Fernando Brodsky's head around there, I right? have like that kind of um, um, kind of tannish color washing on her head. So, so it might be like a day or two for the first first part, then the then I might be a day or a few hours, a day to do the uh, ink part. And I don't necessarily do it all like in eight hour stints. Uh, it might be like two hours one day, five the next day. In both of these drawings, I took the um, wings up to the Natural History Museum, and, and it would, would have been uh, one of the, at least four different visits a day long each. So uh, it, it really varies, but 
they say like an average might be a few days if you want to look at all the time condensed together. The mosaic drawn happens to take more several feet longer. Incredibly labor intensive. I, I use them. Um, I buy like plates, um, cups, saucers, bowls, like what you call like a cabinet thrift store. And then I hammer them apart. And then uh, I use like these big tile cutters and it just takes hundreds of hours.